Hey the Retro Fans! Welcome back to RGF Retro Game Force! And in this video, in this video I want to talk about emulation. Emulation of an awesome Sega board, arcade board from 1996. I'm talking about the extremely powerful and successful Sega Model 3. So, uh, in this video I will explain you what emulators we have out there to play some of the games of this system and um, also advise you to use a front-end to avoid that you are putting command, command lines and use the command lines to, to use this emulator. So guys, stay tuned! And before we start with the emulation itself, let's talk about some cool facts of the Sega Model 3 arcade board. This board is the successor of the also famous Sega Model 2 that gave us games like Daytona USA, Sega Rally, Virtua Fighter 2, Virtua Cop, House of the Dead and so many other classic games. The story of the Sega Model 3 is the following, Sega wanted to release the successor of Daytona USA, but they didn't want to release it for the Sega Model 2, they want to step up on the graphical fidelity of the successor of Daytona USA, which is a kind of a benchmark on racing 3D racing games back then. And so they team up with Lockheed Martin Real 3D and the result was the most powerful arcade board ever made in 1996. And the specs were so crazy that all over the world people were saying that this was the most powerful gaming hardware ever. Okay, back in 1996, but uh, it was really in front of everything else in the market. And Sega was so proud and happy with this new board that they made sure that important sequels were coming to this, to this hardware like Sega Rally 2, Daytona USA 2, Virtua Fighter 3, Virtua Striker 2 and so on. So finished with the history part, in 2011 an emulator called Supermodel was released online and until 2013 it was supported and some games were already playable but for whatever reason the project was stopped. Luckily the project was open source and the source code was available so other developers could continue the work of this project and in 2019 this emulator is much much better than the first version that was released this 02A and right now is almost compatible with all games of the Sega Model 3. Important to mention that MAME is trying to support the Sega Model 3, but until now there's no commercial games running on MAME for the Sega Model 3. So the emulator that I recommend and that I'm using in this video is a fan-based emulator based on the Super Model and the release is the 775. Link on the description below where to download this emulator. And because this emulator has no front-end UI, I will recommend that uh, you guys can use a front-end UI like I'm using for a third partner uh, development, which works great and it looks great by the way. My favorite front-end UI is the one that you are seeing here and it's called Supermother Loader and uh, the link is also in the description and it's very easy to install so you just need to make sure that the emulator and the files coming from this front end are in the same folder and everything else is kind of automatic so there's no specific configuration that you need to run and now what you need to do is making sure that you have a ROM folder uh, filled with the games and to download the ROMs you just search it on Google they are very easy to come by so now, let's play some games, right? Starting with Sega Rally 2, a true classic and a game that was always difficult to emulate. I remember 
Um, the first times I tried Sega Rally 2 from Sega Model 3 was buggy as hell. But in this emulator version, it runs it runs great actually. No bugs found until now. The only issue I had was that I need to decrease the resolution, so these games are running in 720p. For whatever reason, when I'm trying to capture uh, footage of these games, if I go to 1080p, uh, I get huge amount of sl slowdowns and frame rate um, cuts or frame rate drops. I don't know why, so 720p here on my footage. Oh, here is a game that will be extremely hard to see one day in a home console or on the PC because Star Wars, you know, Disney, they will not make this cheap to Sega to license a game, I'm pretty sure. And this game is great, plays great, sounds great, and uh, please... Lost World, the sequel from Jurassic Park. You know, there were a lot of games out there from Jurassic Park Lost World, but not as great as this shooter. And I remember this arcade cabinet because I played on this arcade cabinet so many times. It was great. I played it a lot in the place in Portugal called Fórum Aveiro. And uh, I remember you have some curtains, you have to shut down these curtains, then you are fully immersed in this Jurassic uh, game that you have to shoot dinosaurs and um, the, the screams and the voices and the squeezing of these dinosaurs. This was a great game uh, with a great environment. So try out at your home Lost World on the Sega Model 3. Where's Saren Ian? They went to the laboratory. You can find them with this detector. Look out! Oh man, Virtual Fighters 3. What I can say about Virtual Fighter 3? Everyone knows this game is the third um, game on the franchise of Virtual Fighter. Graphics are amazing. Gameplay also not so different from the previous games, uh, but it doesn't need to be. Has more characters to choose from. Have more interactions on the environment, which is great. And uh, yeah, it was a launch title for the Sega Dreamcast and a uh, great fighting game, right? Oh. 
Fight two. Ready, go! Ha! Excellent! Virtual Striker 2, man. This football game, I spent so many hours on this game and I can still play this one today with my eyes closed. We used to play this back in the days in bars and who loses has to pay beer, a round of beer to the guys. And I was really good on this one, so I drink a lot of free beer back in my prime time. So as you can see here, the emulation is not bad, actually it's pretty good and the list of games doesn't stop here, there's tons of games for, for this Sega Model 3 that you need to try, some you will know, some you will probably not know, but they are still great games, so please give it a try. The only issue is that this is not really mainstream, this Sega Model 3 is not as mainstream as home systems and consoles and stuff. That's why you don't have so easy emulators compared to, to other systems. But I think in the future we will see more. So guys, please check out the links I gave on the description below so you can download this emulator and the front end. Search for the ROM, search for the games, you will easily find it. And um, don't forget to leave me comments, subscribe to the channel and give the classic like. And as usual guys, until the next video, take care and bye bye.